In this video, we'll share the top 14 things to do in Nantucket. At number one, we have the Nantucket Shipwreck and Life Saving Museum. This museum is a testament to Nantucket's maritime history, showcasing the island's history of shipwrecks, life saving, and rescue. It offers a unique perspective on the island's origin stories, with beautifully restored relics and meticulously researched exhibits. The museum is located on one of the most scenic parts of the island, at the edge of Folgers Marsh, making it a perfect spot for a waterfront picnic. At number two, we have the Cascada Coatu Wildlife Refuge. This refuge is a haven for nature lovers, covering hundreds of acres of dunes, woodlands, and a remote barrier beach on the island's east side. It's home to the largest red cedar savanna in New England and a beautiful oak forest. The refuge is also the site of the Great Point Lighthouse, a picturesque landmark that dates back to 1784. At number three, we have the Whaling Museum. This iconic attraction is a must-visit for anyone interested in Nantucket's rich maritime history. The museum houses over a thousand works of art, treasures, and artifacts spanning four centuries. Its showpiece is a 46-foot sperm whale skeleton suspended from the ceiling. The museum also offers a rooftop deck, Tucker's Roofwalk, which provides stunning views of the Nantucket Harbor. At number four, we have the Nautilus, a unique dining experience on the island. Since 2014, the Nautilus has been serving up fresh New England seafood with an Asian twist. The menu is a blend of street food and gourmet, with dishes like blue crab fried rice, tempura East Coast oyster tacos, and Thai lobster curry. The restaurant's nautical-themed ambiance is inspired by Jules Verne's classic novel, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. At number five, we have the Brant Point Lighthouse. This historic lighthouse, first built in 1746, is one of the most famous attractions in Nantucket. It's an ideal place for photography, picnics, and enjoying the harbor views. The lighthouse is a national historic landmark and is still operational today, though it's now automated. At number six, we have Nantucket's bike trails. The island boasts 35 miles of multi-use pathways that run across the island, from downtown all the way to Sconset in the east and every beach in between. Bike rentals are available at many of Nantucket's hotels and rental shops downtown. Notable trails include the Milestone Cranberry Bogs Trail and the Triple Crown, a 15-mile route with water views. At number seven, we have the Sister Ship, a restaurant, cafe, and cocktail club set in the faraway hotel. The menu features New England fare with Mediterranean influences and an eccentric spirit. The drink selection is interesting and original, with local beer, sake, and an impressive wine selection. At number eight, we have Surfside Beach. This wide, flat beach features rolling surf over sandbars, making it suitable for surfers and boogie boarders alike. It's a great place to play beach volleyball, read a book, or simply relax and enjoy the soft sand and crystal clear waters. At number nine, we have the Loins Observatory. This observatory serves as an active research site and a venue for public astronomical programs. During public stargazing nights in September and October, you can view the stars through an 8-inch Alvin Clark refractor and a 24-inch research telescope. At number 10, we have Nantucket's local boutiques. The downtown area is filled with charming cobblestone streets, historic architecture, and a sea breeze. You can find home decor, apparel, artwork, and antiques in the local boutiques, all ready to find a new home with you. At number 11, we have the Brotherhood of Thieves. This local institution offers four different concepts, including a historic whaling bar and tavern, notch whiskey bar, Cisco kitchen and bar, and a beer garden. It's a great place to enjoy a variety of food and drinks, with live music every night. At number 12, we have the charming village of Sconset. This quaint fishing village on Nantucket's east end is a beautiful time capsule, with historic architecture and vintage signage. The Sconset Bluff Walk is one of the most popular activities in the village, offering spectacular ocean views from the bluff. At number 13, we have Nantucket's essential historic sites. These include the oldest house, built in 1686, the Hadwin House, a Greek revival mansion that formerly housed a whaling merchant, and the Old Mill, the oldest functioning mill in the country. At number 14, we have Cisco Brewers. This local brewery is known for its unique brews, variety of food trucks, and fresh seafood. It's a great place to enjoy a pint and soak up the good vibes. So that sums up my top 14 things to do in Nantucket. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. 
Until next time, have a great day.